Welcome to our 16th edition of Drive Chat. This is an initiative that was launched by Master Drive, and we interview leading figures in the transport industry, and we get their views on matters in which they're experts. This edition comes fresh off the Transport Month initiative that we had, and we focused on tyres. Our guest today is Mark Templeton, the Sustainability Manager for Scania South Africa. Mark, please join us and uh, tell us a little bit about what you do, but before you do that, just so that you know, Mark gave us his input on what an OEM would look at when putting tires on a new vehicle that's been sold in South Africa. Mark, share with us what you do at Scania, please. Good morning. Thank you for the invite. I really appreciate it. Um, my function at Scania is around sustainability, and I drive all the alternative energy uh, solutions that are available in the country from gas, uh, electric and biodiesel. So I also look at various type of projects. And one of them, of course, is road safety is a critical element going forward. Mark, um, I'm going to ask you to elaborate. I know this wasn't part of the question. I saw some of your uh, trucks, alternatively uh, powered trucks at uh, Auto Mechanica. So I'm going to ask you a question just now, a little bit about one of them that I, that I found rather intriguing. Tell us about some of your road safety initiatives, please. So from Scania, Scania side, uh, we focus very much on the driver and, and the importance of the driver in the performance of the vehicle. And of course, uh, if the driver is properly trained and he understands how the vehicle operates and he understands the limitations of the vehicle, um, then it addresses most uh, of the issues around uh, vehicle safety. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that we picked up is the 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 other road users misunderstanding of how difficult it is to stop a truck when it's traveling at uh, 80 kilometers an hour with a full payload for example uh, if a tri a combination mass of 56 tons has to stop at uh, from 80 to zero it will take about 100 about 80 to 100 meters unfortunately one of the issues that we see on the road is drivers nip in a, in front of trucks uh, recklessly and then slam on brakes to take the off ramp. Guys, you're endangering not only the truck, but you're endangering all other road users. Um, and I, I, I really hope you look at this uh, behavior. It's quite a critical and it's quite a bad behavior. Uh, just as a matter of interest, uh, our training ratios is split probably about 25, 30% commercial vehicles and the balanced light motor vehicles. The one thing that we get and let me talk about car drivers, all right, specifically, is to get them to take notice of the fact that a truck cannot stop in the same distance that a motor car would have. So that's already part of our training regimen, and I'm glad that you focus in on that. Just talk to me. Um, you were with a number of other people at our transport event in October. Um, what benefits does Scania get as a result of cooperating with or collaborating with other organizations and institutions that have a vested interest in road safety? I, I think if you really look at the, um, the function uh, or the collaboration that, that, that we, we enter into, it's really for betterment of the general um, road users in South Africa. And one of the biggest problems that we see is a, been a, a slow and steady decline of discipline and respect on the road. So if we can really get road users to focus on their a, a abundance of the road law and um, and discipline on the road. And we can get all bodies that are involved in road safety driving that message. And, and then, of course, we need that to be enforced uh, going forward. But if you look at cell phone usage, you look at um, a, ir a really irrational behavior on the road, it's really a concern. And all um, guys are driving um, collaborating in this regard should drive the same agenda. Yeah, I, I like that message because uh, so often in the past we've seen different bodies driving different agendas, none of which seem to come together. Whereas if we all talk one language, 
one set of standards, we hope we can make a difference. Uh, 100% correct. Mark, uh, just before I ask you what your parting message is, just tell me the different trucks you had on display at Auto Mechanica, the different derivatives for, from a power source. So we've got your uh, Euro 5, which we've introduced into the country uh, recently, which if everything goes well, legislation will change in 2027 and introduce clean fuels to two, and that will be Euro 5. And that's to reduce the CO2, um, uh, the impact of CO2 and, and the harmful emissions. The second one is we've got the CNG truck at Auto Mechanica, which is a, a Euro 6 a gas powered vehicle. And the results we're seeing is been f uh, phenomenal uh, on its performance. And uh, we just got challenges with the, both BEV and gas uh, vehicles with being overweight and over lens. And uh, we've now created a new NEV committee, uh, and NAMSA created a new NEV committee, uh, chair it where we're trying to drive over lens and overweight just for the NEV solutions that we can introduce new technologies into South Africa. So it's all about where we want to take uh, what are the bridging solutions or what are you know, what are the bridging solutions to get net zero by 2050 is uh, the various NEVs of gas, um, biodiesels, and of course, um, BEV or hydrogen, whichever is the dominant solution going forward. At present in the commercial vehicle space, there is no silver bullet. There's not a one a really um, strong alternative to diesel. Thanks, Sam. Well, no, no, please don't ever tell me that I didn't give you an opportunity to tell sellers to our product. All right. Your parting message to road users for the festive season, please. Please uh, don't drink and drive. Respect the rules of the road. Respect all the individuals on the road and drive safely. Mark, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate the time that you've taken to share your message with us. We're going to say goodbye to you now as we wrap up uh, this edition of Drive Chat. So thank you for joining us. And the message that we would like to share with the viewers is please, in addition to what Mark has recommended, the, one of the biggest dangers that we have is the misuse of cell phones. Now, whilst they are a great uh, security feature, they are responsible for many of the crashes. And then, of course, drinking and driving is a no-no. And please, if companies are planning uh, some type of activity for a year-end function, make sure that your staff get home safe they understand that uh, drinking and driving is unacceptable. So with that, we wish you a very good one until we see you in the new year. Thanks, Mark. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.